Hey there, foodies! Grilling outside is a great option when you're tired of cooking over your kitchen stove. Whether you live way up north or down in Southern California, the barbecue set up in your backyard never gets boring. Cooking a juicy steak or a juicy burger requires some useful tips that can make your grilling experience a safer one. In today's video, let's dive deeper into some of those quick tips and tricks. Why is your pick of protein important? Do sides matter? We're talking all of that and more. Number 1. Pick the perfect protein If you're grilling, try to pick healthier protein options like skinless chicken breast, fish, and lean ground poultry. Fish like salmon and trout contain omega-3 fatty acids that are excellent for a healthy heart. What's your favorite grilled protein? How do you make it? Sound off in the comments section and stay connected with our bestie community. Substituting red meat with healthier options can go a long way. A little experiment and great grill skill can make your guests forget all about red meat. This is healthier for them, as there won't be as much saturated fat. You can grill meat any time of the year, whether it's a hot summer or cold, gloomy winter. There can never be a bad time for setting up your rotisserie. It's a great idea to keep rotating those proteins and hit all the protein groups. Number 2. Choose your meat cuts wisely When you shop for meat, try going for loins or round cuts of pork over red. Also, buying a select grade of beef rather than prime can lower the fat content and improve your health. Number 3. Meat skin matters Chicken skin can add to the taste. When you shop for chicken, try choosing chicken breast cuts without the skin. Skinless chicken breasts have less fat content than legs and thighs. While the crispy fried skin tastes great, your heart can handle only a limited amount of fat. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all of our great bestie content. Number 4. Size your portions correctly It goes without question that eating the right portions can improve your health. So, what's the right portion? Between 3 to 6 ounces of any meat is considered a healthy portion. While you may think that's too small, those tasty veggies that come along with your meat will keep you full. Number 5. Marinate meat in alcohol Getting the meat drunk before cooking is a simple but effective way to grill well. Did you know that marinating beef in wine for six hours before grilling can decrease the amount of carcinogens by almost half? If you don't like wine, you can use beer as a substitute. Number 6. Color up your grill Fruits and vegetables come in a variety of colors. Almost all the colorful veggies and fruits can be put on the grill. After cutting them into pieces for quick and even cooking, brush them with some oil. This will prevent them from sticking and give them amazing flavor and taste. Trust me, you'll forget meat after having grilled pineapple or roasted broccoli. Try grilling fruits for dessert. Their natural sugar caramelizes upon heating. This makes these fruits even more sweet and delicious. Fruits like pineapples, peaches, plums, figs, pears, and bananas are good options. They can serve a much healthier and low-calorie alternative to sugary desserts. You can use a variety of veggies like mushrooms, zucchini, asparagus, avocado, and corn. Vegetables being more solid than meat are a perfect ingredient for grilling. Doing this will enhance the flavor, similar to what it does for meat. Just make sure you're not overcooking them. Charring delicious veggies can form a different type of carcinogen, like benzopyrene, which can really hurt you. Before we move ahead, here's something that might interest you. Here are 12 ways you're cooking vegetables wrong and reducing your health benefits. Now, let's get back to healthy tips for grilling. Number 7. Use a meat thermometer Who doesn't like chilling out with friends in the sun? Getting that tan while eating lip-smacking grilled food is a fun way to reduce stress. But the sear and roast setup has its share of hazards. Barbecues often consist of a variety of overheated and overprocessed foods. These foods can hurt your health by actively increasing your waistline. It's a known fact that cooking meat at very high temperatures can bring on cancer-causing substances like polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs, as well as heterocyclic amines, or HCAs. HCAs are formed when amino acids are simply exposed to high temperatures. PAHs are formed when fat and meat juice drip on the grill fire causing smoke. Cooking food at very high temperatures increases the risk of pancreatic, colorectal, stomach, lung, and breast cancers. If cooked properly, you can enhance the nutritional value of food. It's important that meat is cooked at a perfect temperature. It's very easy to get carried away at a barbecue, but you need to remember this. 
The meat should not be cooked beyond 325 degrees Fahrenheit. This is because HCAs start to form. The key is to maintain balance so that the meat is not over or undercooked. Now, if you're cooking a juicy burger, do not cook the meat patty at more than 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 8. Marinate your meat. Marinating your meat can do wonders for it. Using marinades containing spices, rosemary, thyme, sage, and garlic not only adds flavor to the meat, but also reduces cancer-causing potential, as well as the amount of salt used. A study found that marinating the meat with these spices can reduce the amount of HCA formation. So, give your meat a proper spa day with herbs and spices. All it takes is a tablespoon of your favorite spice or about half a cup of marinade to give your meat a proper rub. Be generous with the spices used. It will definitely change the way you grill. Just make sure you don't reuse the marinade. Number 9. That simple grill is good enough. When grilling, try and keep it simple. Don't add unnecessary dressings and sauces to your grilled meats and veggies post-cooking. It's not harmful to add more flavors, but moderation is the key. The sear in itself will be so delicious you won't require additional flavors. Use as few of these condiments as possible, or use your own healthy alternatives. Sometimes even a simple thing like a lemon squeeze can work wonders. Number 10. Say goodbye to harmful fat. We know fatty foods are delicious, but your body doesn't really need them. Try removing excess fat from the meat. Let the fat drip away while cooking. Number 11. The sides matter. Try being more creative and use healthier homemade sides. Regular barbecue staples like coleslaw, baked beans, and fries contain harmful amounts of salt, sugar, and fat. Instead, try going for options like fruit salad or leafy greens. If you're looking for an alternative to chips, try having some carrots or broccoli as a side. They'll add some much-needed crunch to your plate while also filling you up with nutrients. Number 12. Use whole wheat buns. The key to a good burger lies in the bun. Whole wheat buns are a great alternative to the processed wheat bun. They contain more fiber and flavor. Higher fiber content takes out the carcinogenic effect of meats and reduces constipation. Multi-grain buns are also popular among health nuts. Number 13. Flip your burgers more often. It may sound strange, but flipping your burgers more often can actually remove harmful bacteria and reduce the production of cancer-causing chemicals. A study revealed that frequent flipping along with heating the meat at a lower temperature can significantly reduce E. coli bacteria. It also reduces the production of HCAs. Number 14. Keep it clean. So this isn't the fun part, but be sure to scrub down the rack or grill pan after you're done using it. Removing leftover pieces of food stuck to the grill prevents burning and bitter flavors the next time you use it. Start clean. Don't let the chard build up on your grill transfer to your meal. Use a wire brush to give your grill a good cleaning. Then wipe it down with a cloth or paper towel to make sure that no grill cleaning bristles will ever get in your food or your guest's plates. Practice safe grilling. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate from vegetables and other foods. Place grilled foods on clean plates, not on the ones that held them when they were raw. Celery can be a great crunchy side with your grilled food. It's awesome with or without dips, but are you one of those people who hate celery? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out what eating celery every day for a week will do to your body. You can also try 15 powerful health benefits of parsley you never knew about. Go ahead and click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to become healthy. Do you know any other super awesome grilling tips? Let us know in the comments below.